Hello again everybody, it's Scott Hudgens and Mason at Dodd RV, located in Yorktown, Virginia. Family owned and operated since 1956. Today, we're looking at a brand new 2021 Forest River Rockwood Ultralight 2911 BS. Bunks in the back, nice door to separate the bunk area, large master bedroom with the bed on a slide, New Newport Ash cabinetry, nice and light, and the stone decor. Let's get started and take a look. Guys, do me a favor, watch all the way to the end of the video. I'll show you a clip with the slide outs in so you can see what you do and don't have access to. Always remember, give me a quick thumbs up for me and for Mason. Hit the subscribe, hit the bell. That bell will give you a notification when new campers go on. Be the first one to see new colors, new options. Um, and let me know if there's a camper you'd like me to put on. I'll do my best to put it on as quickly as possible. Mason, what do you think of this camper? I think it's awesome and I think it's awesome for you kids. Very nice. Good time. Thanks again for watching, Scott and... Dot RV. Dot RV. Good job. All right, starting on the inside. Large slide out, theater seating, booth dinette. We're looking at the stone decor, Newport Ash cabinetry. Lots of countertop space. Master bedroom up front. Got a door separating the bunk area in the back. We'll start in the master bedroom. Uh, it's rare to have a master bedroom this size in a bunk model. So regular size queen walk around bed, 60 by 80. Nice window up front, wardrobe. We did equip this with a TV and a second AC. Windows do open on either side of the bed so you get good cross breeze. Storage underneath the bed. You do have drawers that pull out. Lots of storage throughout. Receptacles, USB. More charging areas, drawers. Wardrobe, another door separating the master bedroom to the living area, your bathroom, porcelain toilet, spot for a trash can, good countertop space, a nice large sink, max air fan with a cover, vanity, nice large Shower, stepping up into the shower, again I'm 6'5", I am just over the railing, I am in the skylight, about eye level with the shower head. Your booth dinette, we'll take a look at the setup and breakdown of that. Alright, your booth dinette, you've got a lever on the front. And the dinette drops down. And that is probably the best way for it to travel. There are Velcro tabs on the bottom and the lip that that rests on. Then you would insert cushions to make the bed. When making the bed, you can remove the end cushions to give you a couple more inches of total length 44 by 78 will be the size of the bed for one adult or two kids you do have roller shades do really darken the room overhead lighting your theater seating you have cup holders charging area inside they recline, 
You do have nice lumbar support, charging area. Receptacle underneath the dinette as well. Reading lights directly across from the theater seating is your TV. It is on a swivel arm. Gives you good access to the plugs behind it. Your IRV technology stereo is here, USB, HDMI plugs. You can sync your phone to that with the IR Techno IRV Technologies app. Sound bar. Countertop space and storage is great down low. So this is basically like a pantry. Good drawer and storage space. Dual stainless steel sinks. And speaking of countertop, they give you the extended countertop there. Lighting and storage above. Another Max Air fan with the cover. You do have an exhaust for your range that does exhaust outside. Large oven. Your three burner range. Acts as a splash guard there with the flush mount cover. Nice new backsplash all the way around so that nice stone look your gas electric refrigerator get the four server spatula rockwood gives you the tst truck monitoring system so Check the pressure, the temperature, if you have any leaks in your tires. So a great setup there for safety. The TV bracket, so you can move the TV outside. I'll show you that as well. Again, ducted AC in the living area. We saw the AC in the master bedroom. As soon as you walk in, you've got the convenience area here. So control your RV. You've got the We RV app. Again, sync your phone, that one touch control, control your slides, your awning, your lighting, all from one area. Uh, main area here, we're going into the bunk area. I'll show you the setup of that bottom bed, folds out, makes a nice large sleeping area with the bunk above. And if you need it, bunk folds up out of the way so you got plenty of room in here for basically a playroom remove the beds that door you've got access for bikes for gear for pets ladder can be used on either side and they've got their own tv nice storage on the side very deep plenty of floor space and then the highlight of the bunk area mr mason hudgens with his new Dodd RV shirt. Mason, Daddy. what would you like to say about the bunk area? It's awesome and it's very comfy. Don't put down the other one. Oh, put down the other one. This one, this right here, is the, it's both comfy. So if your kid or grandson, they can, if they, if they'll, they can do this to get to the other side. So when you wake up at night um, or in the morning, just ask your parents to get you down. And what do you think about the space? You can sit up good. Yep. And you can, can see the TV good. What do you think? You give it a thumbs up? And you can, don't jump to that side or your child might get hurt. And then moving back into the living area. So great floor plan, lots of space. And then we'll move our way to the outside. All right, moving to the outside, you see the nice new logo on the front, automotive windshield, power tongue jack, two 30 pound LP bottles, seven way plug holder, spot for two batteries. The Rockwood 2911 has got a dry weight of 7,907 pounds. You do have controls for your docking light up front. We did equip this with slide toppers over your slide outs. 
electric stabilizer jacks. You do have your front storage underneath your bed. Nice thick doors. Slam latch with the magnetic holders. Your second storage underneath the dinette. Plenty of room there. Frameless windows all the way around. We are looking at a 50 amp service. We did equip this with two ACs. And then your door to the bunk area opens up. And there's my man Mason hanging out. There is the bed down. Uh, and I'll also show you folding that bed. Now removing the beds, you see now you've got a huge play area, linoleum throughout. Got plenty of room, again, for bikes, for a dog crate, for a playpen, or just for my man Mason. Do you have a bumper, your spare tires mounted on? That factory installed ladder. We'll take a look at the roof. All right, take a look at the roof. You see the two ACs, your max air fan covers, your TV antenna. Nice and clean roof. You are prepped for a backup camera. You do have a receiver. Uh, looking at 300 pounds weight limit. So you can put a bike rack or storage bin. Your convenience area. Your black tank flush, your water hookup. Out. And there's your hot and cold outside shower. Remember everything now is key to like. So the same key for your door, your outside shower and your compartments. Moving around to the door side, you see the controls for your rear stabilizer jacks, your LP quick connect, outside kitchen. So you got a two burner range folds up flush and then your electric refrigerator lots of storage and receptacles step above entry steps so very nice stairs again fold right up into the camper nice and easy and clean your screen shot screen door Closes the door for you. You do have a full length power awning, covers both doors, gives you a nice large patio area. You do have a prep table that's removable and a spot for your outside griddle, which is included. Your outside speakers and then the exhaust for your range. Spot for the TV outside and your plugins. Your front door goes into the bedroom. And then the controls for your front jacks. And we are prepped for solar. So you can have a portable solar panel again, charging those batteries. So your brand new 2021 Forest River Rockwood Ultralight 2911. All right, as promised, slide out in. Still got access to the refrigerator and the kitchen area, but you're gonna to need to go in through the master bedroom door to get in there. You do not have access to the bathroom without putting the slide out, but full access to the bunk area. 